Hello and welcome back to another episode of Physics Partner. Today we are going to share an experiment how to make an electromagnet. We express our gratitude to Cambridge Assessment International Examination for their invaluable contribution. The original experiment video is created and owned by Cambridge International Board. In this experiment an electromagnet will be made using an iron rod and copper wire. The strength of the magnet will then be investigated. A typical electromagnet is made from a coil of copper wire. The coil is sometimes called a solenoid. Copper is used because of its low resistance. When a current flows through the wire, a magnetic field is generated and will attract other metal objects made from magnetic materials such as iron filings or paper clips. This can be seen when the solenoid is connected to the battery. When the current is removed, the paper clips fall off. Iron is a magnetic material, but the iron rod on its own does not attract any iron filings or paper clips. This shows that despite being magnetic, iron does not always act as a magnet. To increase the magnetic force of the solenoid, an iron core, in this case an iron nail, can be inserted. The copper wire is wrapped tightly around the nail a number of times. The amount of times the wire is wrapped is known as the number of turns. It still will not pick up any paper clips, so we know it is not yet magnetized. To make the electromagnet work, a current must be passed through the coil. When the current passes through the wire, it induces a magnetic field, which also magnetizes the nail. The strength of the electromagnet can be judged by counting the number of paper clips picked up. Now the electromagnetic works, its strength can be investigated. The variables that are going to be changed at the current and the number of turns of wire. So that there is a control measurement. The current electromagnetic strength with 50 turns of wire is tested. The number of paper clips collected in the control is recorded in a table for comparison. The first variable being changed is the current. It has now increased. The number of paper clips collected using the increased current is counted and recorded. Now the current has increased again. The final number of paper clips collected by the magnet is counted and recorded. It is clear that as a current increases, the strength of the electromagnet has increased. The current has been returned to its original settings. The next variable being altered is the number of turns of the wire. The original number of turns of wire was 50 and the control showed that this picked up one paper clip. 50 more turns of the wire have been added. The electromagnet is turned on and the number of paper clips collected is counted. 50 more turns of wire are added to the rod. The effect of this is measured by picking up and then counting the number of paper clips collected. The last 50 turns of wire are added and the effect of this is once more measured. The results are recorded in the table. It is clear that as the number of turns of wires increases, the strength of the magnet increases. Electromagnets have many applications from electrical bells, electromagnetic cranes, loudspeakers, electric motors, relays and transformers. So I think it's enough for today. So thank you very much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is useful for you. So take care of yourself and don't hesitate to write an email if you have any question, query, suggestion and even classes are required. Take care of yourself. Meanwhile, see you in the next video. Goodbye.